welcome back everybody. So today we're going to try Milwaukee's Best Light. Now I have had natural ice and bud ice, but I went back to pick up some more and this was the first one. I'm a, I like blue and black, so that's why I picked this one. Um, and I was trying to, because I had the ice beers, I wanted to almost stay with them and then maybe at the end I'll go back and pick one of all of them up and do like a blind side by side by side on them just to see what uh, we get. Now, uh, I don't know, I did not uh, do my homework on this. Obviously, Mir uh, Miller Brewing Company is the one that makes this. Um, it doesn't say, but because this is a ice beer, I'm guessing it's done the same way as the uh, natural ice and the butt ice. After fermentation, bring down the temperature, let the ice crystals form, um, and that's going to produce a higher ABV. Now, I do know, I think somebody mentioned that they don't pull the ice out, that they then it, it warms back up and goes back in there. I don't know if that's true. I don't know the process, but it would just seem it, the ice crystals form, you pull those out, that comes into a higher ABV. But then if you think about it, what's going to make that a smoother beer? Uh, taking water out is going to make it a smoother beer? Could be. I've never made an ice beer. Now this is 5.9%. So this is, I think, 0.1% higher than the natural ice. Then the bud ice was 5.5 or something like that. I can't remember. Um, a dollar twenty nine. I don't remember. It was around that dollar nineteen again, dollar twenty nine, something like that. So let's go ahead and open it and get it into a glass. Now on the other two, the natural ice and bud ice, I did say it tastes like wheat. Now I do think that is a combination of the grains they're using with that corn that's kind of coming off like a wheat to me. Um, but maybe sometime I could make a beer with corn and the, the, the malts that they're using or the barley, something like that to see if I can reproduce it because I am a big wheat fan. I've brewed a lot of um, smash beers with just wheat and that's pretty much what it tastes like. Head is dying down a little bit. Um, it's not very compact it's more spread apart like it's almost translucent like that golden color is coming up through the middle small and medium bubbles about a half a finger of head color yeah golden light golden in color very clear magnifying glass i can see my fingerprints i can see everything through that now this has probably been out of the fridge for about 15 minutes i did do two other beer reviews before i did this one let's go ahead and smell I would almost say that wheat again, but that 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 malt mixed with that corn um, graininess is what I'm getting. A tiny bit of sweetness. And that's about it. That, that grain, that corn combination really takes over everything in the beer. Let's go ahead and taste. I would go a little grainier. Um, uh, definitely not as smooth, um, but it seems like that grain is there more. Almost like uh, if you, and I'll use home brewing terms, um, what I do in my small batches is once it's um, done with the mash out, or the mash in, I'll pull that out, put it on the counter, and then I'll sparge with some water. Then once that's all done, I take the, the brew in the bag in a net and I put it, or a strainer, and I put it over a bucket. That's kind of what's coming through. Not syrupy, but more grainy, like a pure grain before 
uh, or with not as many sugars in it, like some of that sugar is extracted, so you're getting more of that graininess. That's what this tastes like. I think this has a little bit more sweetness to it, which is kind of weird depending on how they make it. Maybe there's dextrose or something in here, but I was, I, I don't know if you'd be able to tell 1%, but what I was thinking is this one was going to be a little bit drier because more of that sugar has been pulled out, but it, it almost tastes like there's dextrose or some re-added sugar in here to mix with that grain. Very light body. Is it smooth? I, I'd, I wouldn't say it's as smooth as some of the home brews that use like uh, flaked oat or something like that. I would say it's smooth. It's not as smooth as like a home brewed beer that has a uh, oats to make that mouth feel better or anything like that but it, it's smooth it's kind of hard because a lot of those bubbles are popping like it's over carved but it's not and it's like you miss like the middle of the palate like it goes from the front slides right through and then hits the back Um, on this one, I would have to go with a three out of five. I'm not getting any alcohol. I think there's a little too much grain there, at least for my tasting. Um, just trying to remember that natural ice and bud ice, I would, I again, pick one of those over this just for that graininess. But if you don't mind that, that, that graininess in here, maybe they're using a little extra corn or something like that, or a little extra sugar, um, then you might like this. But yeah, I would have to go with a three out of five. And just to check untapped, uh, 2.5 is what they give it. I don't think it's that bad. Um, there's craft beers that use some pretty weird ingredients that I can't drink that I would drink this over any day. But yeah, let me know what you think about it. If you enjoyed this video, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.